It was November 28, 2009, and a massive snowstorm was blowing through Council Bluffs, Iowa. 25-year-old supermarket employee Larry Murillo Mankata was in the middle of a heated argument with his parents just the day after Thanksgiving. The man had reportedly been struggling with his mental health, even suffering from apparent hallucinations and voices in his head as a result. According to his mother that same year after his disappearance, he was hearing voices that said, eat sugar, he felt his heart was beating too hard, and if he thought he ate sugar, his heart would not beat so hard. At his wit's end, and suffering immensely from his hallucinations, Mankata stormed out of his parents' home that cold November night, barefoot, and leaving behind his keys and car, never to be seen alive again. Ten years later, in January 2019, a badly decomposed body was discovered wedged between an 18-inch wide gap located between the massive industrial coolers and a large wall inside the no-frills supermarket in Council Bluffs, Iowa, the very same no-frills location Larry Moncada had been employed at at the time of his sudden disappearance ten years earlier. The uncovered body was so badly decomposed at the time of its discovery, it wasn't until six months later that the confirmation was made. Larry Moncada had been found. The question remained, how exactly did Mankata end up in such a tight space, a space that would lead to him becoming trapped and eventually entombed in the store itself? Investigators say they believe that Mankata, who had access to the back of the store due to his status as an employee, climbed on top of the coolers and fell into the gap of about 45 centimeters or 18 inches between the coolers and wall. He found himself trapped, most likely dying of dehydration as passerbyers in the supermarket walked by him just inches away. Perhaps the most horrifying part would be the helplessness of the situation. Being in such a tight space, Moncada likely had little to no room to move himself in any sort of direction, being forced to rely on his voice alone to alert other co-workers of his location. This was all in vain, however, as the perpetual droning of the industrial coolers pressed against his body likely drowned out any screams for help. Moncada's body decomposed just inches away from customers for over seven years before, in 2016, the store was finally closed for good. Moncada's body is still located inside. Inevitably, local police announced that an autopsy found no signs of trauma and there was no evidence of foul play. The case had been closed as an accidental death, bringing some closure to the loved ones of Larry Moncada and finally confirming his own mother's suspicions that he'd been in the store all along. The mother, she kind of had an idea that he had never left the no frills, one of the investigators for the case stated in conclusion.